talked about the different skills that a linguist can bring to a language project, but what does that mean in practical terms? In this video, we'll discuss how a linguist might help with a few common projects, such as publishing a children's storybook or creating a dictionary. Let's say that your project is to write and publish a children's storybook. Here's an example of a Chitino book that Dr. Ilaria Cruz, a linguist and native speaker of Chitino, wrote. As you can see, this book has a description written in three languages, illustrations that go with the story, and a glossary at the end to help readers understand and learn new words. This means that when you make your book, you'll probably need a storyteller who can create an engaging story with simple sentences for children, an illustrator who can draw or create pictures that go with your story, a transcriber who can write the story down in your language, and a publisher who can bring the whole project to completion. And if you want an audio or video recording of the story in addition to the picture book, you'll also need a recorder who can make high quality recordings. It's totally possible for a single person to have many of these skills, but it's also possible that you'll need different people for each of these jobs. Your timeline and budget will likely change depending on how many people are involved. So where could a linguist help? Well, linguists can often serve as a transcriber or could assist the transcriber. They're usually trained in writing down a language based on how it sounds, even if they don't speak it themselves. If your language doesn't have a set writing system yet, linguists can help you make decisions about different writing choices. And finally, linguists can serve as the recorder or can assist the recorder. They're usually trained in making high quality recordings and they might even have recording equipment that you can use. A dictionary is another project where a linguist could help. When making a dictionary, it's good to have some goals in mind. Dictionaries can come in lots of different sizes with more or less information in each entry. If you look at this dictionary, which is a full book length dictionary of Louisiana Creole, it gives lots of information. Each word has at least one definition and sometimes several different senses, example sentences, a part of speech, and any other information you need in order to use the word correctly. A large dictionary with so much detail can't be written quickly, and it may take many years to collect all of this information. On the other hand, it can be much quicker to create a word list with a bit less information, like this word list of Katujara. You might have little more than the word in your target language, and then a translation into another common language used in the community, like English or French. A finder list can also be useful, especially for learners. This is a reverse word list with each word given in a common language and the translation given in the target language. These sorts of word lists could be created with the help of speakers using any word editor, and they can be printed and emailed around. Many communities nowadays are choosing to make dictionary apps or to put dictionaries online, where it's easier to update information and have a search function. Online dictionaries can also include media files of different kinds, like pictures, videos, and audio recordings of the words said by different people. For an online dictionary, you'll probably need to contact a web developer and have funds set aside to pay for web space and a server. A linguist could also help you with these decisions and other questions. Finally, you may want to include information in the dictionary about how to look up words and use those words correctly. If someone tries to look up a new word, how will they know how to find it and how to use it in a sentence? There are lots of decisions to be made around how to organize a dictionary, which a linguist could help you with. Ultimately, the best dictionaries are going to be the ones that are workshopped with lots of speakers and learners to see what works best for them.